Hi friends, hope you guys are having a great day so far. My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan. I'm excited to be here this morning to create a pack of the sweet for y'all. Um, we have got a patriotic design coming your way. I know that it is only the end of April, but girl Easter's over. So it's time to get in the spirit and the season for what's upcoming, which is patriotic. You've got Memorial Day first, which is in a May. And then you've got 4th of July, of course. You've got uh, Flag Day, Arms Forces Day. You've got Veterans Day. So there's a lot of different things you can use uh, patriotic designs for. So as y'all join me this morning, girl, y'all leave me a comment and let me know you're here. And any questions you have throughout the video, drop those down below also. Getting everything kind of set up here and ready to go as we come on. Hello, Allison and Kelly. I think I saw somebody else's name. Billy, Michelle, and Becca. It's good to see you ladies this morning. Hope y'all had a fantastic weekend. Mine was great. Um, I don't even remember what I did. Let's see. Uh, Saturday, Friday. Friday, we went to dinner with my good friends Katie and Brett. And then on Saturday, we went to uh, dinner in Carthage, Texas, which is about 45 minutes from here with some friends of ours. Morgan drove in. We had a great time. Went home on Sunday. And then this weekend, my mom is moving. So, girl, this weekend's already gone. and We hadn't even got there yet. Um... But it'll be fun. I'm so excited because she's moving basically in my backyard, like right across the fence. So I'm going to be like, hey, girl, picking through the blinds. But it'll be fun. <clears throat> so that's what's going on this weekend. Hey, Terry and Sandy, Dawn, Kim, Allison. It's good to see everybody. Okay, y'all, we're doing patriotic. I know you're probably like, girl, will you please stop using that green wreath? But I can't. I just love it so much. So these wreaths are on the website, ellishomegarden.com. I'm hoping everything I use today is on there as well. If not, there's other things you can use to substitute for what I'm using. But... Patriotic is so fun. It's kind of like Easter. And as long as you have a little bit of red, a little bit of red, uh, white, and blue, you're good to go. So let me show you what we're going to use. First of all, what got me started on this wreath is this ribbon right here. These are two ribbons. Um, one is a one and a half inch. One is a two and a half inch. They both have some stars because girl, we are all stars. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to use some of those. We've got lots of greenery. I've got a little bit of the white daisy bush. I've got this new bush, which has some white flowers on it too. I've got red... Uh, Geraniums. You could also use red um, hydrangeas. Either one of those options would work. Geraniums are just a little bit smaller and they're easier to work with than hydrangeas, especially depending on the size of base that you use. And then for our fun aspect today, I just saw this and loved it. This is a little gnome. Look at that. So we're going to use the gnome and then I have these super cute lollipop sprays, which are beautiful. And guys, this patriotic floor like this, the glitzy fun stuff, this is so good and easy. To incorporate in your tree. So if you do like a patriotic tree of any sort, then girl, you better grab you some and go for it because that'll be perfect for it. Okay. Hey, Mary. So I'm going to start by tying a bow. We have lots to catch up on. I've watched some documentaries. We're going to talk about that and so much more. So I'm going to tie myself a bow to get started. This is going to go at the bottom of the wreath, but remember, you can always replicate this wreath by using a grapevine. If you don't like the green, either one will work out well. Okay. So we're going to get us a bow, probably like a five loop bow or so. Make sure you just keep your loops large enough to where they go um, with everything that we're going to put in the wreath. And I love one and a half inch ribbon. It's my new obsession. I ordered some one inch for Christmas. I can't wait for it to come in and see how easy it is to work with. Okay. Hey, Lindy. It's good to see you. Hi, Tammy. So I've got three loops of that uh, one and a half inch. Oh, and guys, I forgot to tell you, Dina is not here today. She is at jury duty, girl. She got picked for jury duty, which I want to take a poll. I want to know if you guys love jury duty as much as I do or if you hate it. So leave a comment. Like, I only have gotten uh, jury duty notice one time, and I went and I got picked, and I loved it. I feel like I was on a Lifetime movie, girl. I was so excited. <laughs> But Dina got picked, and so she's at jury duty, and hopefully she's not there for too long. Okay, look how pretty. I've got five loops in the bow. I've got two varieties of ribbon, and these are both patterns, but if you wanted to break it down a little bit, make it a little bit more subtle, um, then you could always mix a solid with one of these patterns, and that would work out well for you, too. Hey, Allison. Hi, Nancy and Vicki. Hi, Elena. So y'all tell me, do you like jury duty or do you hate it? I would like to be on a high profile case. Like I just watched that show all about Pam or the things about Pam, about Pam Huff, that lady that uh, killed everybody. And I would have loved to have been a juror on one, on that trial. OK, 
Okay, so I'm just fluffing out my bow and it's a little bit sparse, but I like that because it gives me so much opportunity to go back in there and add more items. And I'm gonna put this down here on the bottom of the wreath. And we're gonna fluff that out. Oh my gosh, I'm down 12 pounds. I'm so excited. And you know when you lose weight, you can tell yourself in different areas. Well, I can always tell in my face. I haven't drank wine in three weeks, and uh, it's really, I'm not swollen or anything, which is great. So I'm down 12 pounds, no wine for three weeks, and um, I did a tutorial for Dylan Steve as a new tutorial, and I got it back yesterday. When I was looking at it, I was like, oh, look at him coming through there. He's Your old self's coming back. So I'm excited. I'm on the mission to lose 30. So I'm down 12. I've got a little bit more to go. What, what 18 more to go? Um, but we're going to do it. You know, and Josh is on a diet too, so we're doing it together. We're eating healthy at night. We're holding each other accountable for what we eat. So it's going to be really, really fun. Hey, Linda. Hey, Kara. Okay, let's just get over here. Uh, Kara Stevens. I used to be a cop. Girl, you got the handcuffs. Uh, they never picked me. Uh, did you want to be picked? Because I always want to be picked, girl. Okay, Kelly Bay. See, that's my girl. She she likes it. Mm -hmm. Tammy had to be on an interesting case for weeks. Oh, that's awesome. Hi, Charlotte. Hey, Sherry. Never had jury duty. Hey, Amanda. Y'all, I'm not going to tell you any names, but somebody that works here at Ellis and Longview, they were on the Selena trial. Oh, God. Like the singer, Selena. Now, that would have been cool. I'd have been over there thinking of you. Love that song. Anyway, uh, it would have been fun. Okay, we have our bow. Let's get into it, okay? Let me get that. Um, where'd it go? Right here. This super cute little sign, which is the gnome. Gnomes are super popular right now. Um, I'm not a huge fan of gnomes, I'll just tell you. But so many people love them. So it's always great to have a couple wreaths in your designs, especially with your holiday and your seasonal stuff, because people love them, you know. You ain't going to come to my house and find them in my flower bed, but people do love them, girl. Okay. I'm glad that Dina wasn't here because I just shot that stem across and I think would have detached her retina. So we're going to take this little sign and I'm going to stick this down into the wreath right here behind that bow. So make sure it goes in there well. Oh, sweetie. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Now, is that not the cutest thing? It's perfect sizing. It fits right there in the middle of that ring. And I love the exposed moss, which we're going to have after we put everything else on the wreath. I just love it. Okay, let's get into it. Hey, Jeanette. Hey, Linda. Hey, Iona. Natalie. Julie from Kentucky. Hey, girl. I have not seen White Hot. What is that about, Kelly? Hi, Emmy, Sharon, Catherine, Lori, Brenda, Glenda, Terry. Thank you guys so much. Hi, Linda. Linda, uh, no, I broke out in highs before even COVID was on the spectrum. People coughing at the tiny Smith County room. Okay. So, Mary, if you still struggle with bows, make sure you go to my YouTube channel, Designs by Dylan. It's D-Y-L-E-N. And I have a bow video on there. It's really slow. I slowed it down and really gave in-depth instruction on how to tie a bow when they're free. So go to YouTube, Designs by Dylan. Also, I'm sure Ellis has some here on the Facebook page on the replays. And you need to get you a pro bow because if, you're, if your hands are the problem, say they're stiff or you can't hold all the material or the fabric in your hand, then a pro bow is going to solve all your problems. And it's intimidating probably when you look at it, but it's really not. And Regina came here and helped me and it was great. So, uh, And I have videos on the pro bow and the demonstration with Regina herself on the Ellis Facebook page as well. So you can get that. It's on the website. I think it's 39 bucks, and you can tie beautiful bows and it really does save your hand. Hey Rosetta. Hey Phyllis. Okay. First we're going to start with a little bit of greenery. I've got this beautiful green berry bush. This is one of my favorites. Y'all are probably going to see me use this until we move on to fall because I love it so much. Hey Patty. So we're going to Fluff this out and see how it already has this great shaping to it. I love it. Okay. So I cut it in half. We're going to start with this smaller piece and we're going to incorporate this down here at the bottom. Okay. Look at that. I love a little greenery girl. And this other piece, now that is way too long. Don't get crazy and put that whole thing in there. Let's cut each piece of this off, and then we'll mix it down into 
a wreath. Hey, Charlene Peters. Oh, Kelly, I have seen that. Uh, is that what it's called? Why Hot? Yeah, it is. I watched that the other night, the Abercrombie and Fitch, and that was one of the things I wanted to talk to y'all about. So can we talk? Y'all, so when I was growing up, when I was like 12, 13, so long ago, uh, Abercrombie and Fitch and Hollister were the places to go when you were in school. Everybody wore it. And I didn't remember some of the specifics until I watched the documentary, but they basically sold their clothing with provocative photos of like shirtless guys. They never asked me to be a model. But anyway, shirtless guys and, and girls and all this stuff. And they had like these sexy posters and that's what, what sold their clothes, which you know what? I'm all for it. I think that's fabulous. But they were racist and that was horrible. And they brought all that stuff up in the show um, about their race issues and diversity, which is awful. So anyway, that part was crazy. But it was kind of like the rise and fall of Abercrombie. And back in the day, like their t-shirts were like 50, 60 bucks. Girl, now they are $7.99. I looked it up. So what, that's some major changes. But y'all should really watch it. It's called White Hot on Netflix, Abercrombie and Fitch. It's kind of like the rise and fall. There was also one about Blockbuster I watched a while back and I loved it. I was telling Josh, the one thing I miss is like, I didn't ever care for Blockbuster, but we had a store here called Hastings Entertainment, which is like a video rental store, but they sold books and CDs and records and electronics and all kinds of cool stuff and I just miss that I miss like when we grew up like Friday Saturday nights we used to go with my mom and we would rent a movie and get popcorn and go home and that's what we would do all weekend and we would return them on Monday and pay the late fees because I never returned them on time but I miss that you guys miss that leave a comment hi Nancy Charlene I'm glad you're here too okay let's see here Emmy says she is watching from Washington State where we are literally growing moss on ourselves because it's been nothing but wet and nasty here. Sun, please. Emmy, it's been just like that here, too. We've had so many storms uh, lately, like tornadoes and stuff. I don't know what's going on. Okay, y'all. I'm going to take the other two pieces of this greenery, and we're going to use this to embellish the rest of the bow. And what we're doing is basically setting a boundary for everything else that we're going to add. And I go over more details, guys, about the wreath-making process on... Uh, Dylan's Divas Monthly Design Group, which is my monthly design group. It's 20 bucks. And we do four videos a week. It's a tutorial per month, Q&A per week. And you have over 100 hours of content that you can go back and watch. But if you're interested, my website is DylanPalmerDesigns.com. It's 20 bucks a month, and I promise you'll have fun. But I go over all the specifics on wreath making and design and the techniques that I follow in the group. Okay, we have our first layer of greenery. Next up, we're going to add our second. I love this bush, and I used this in my group, and everyone was asking, is this on the website, Ellis? And it is. I made sure. So this is on there, $8.99 on the website. It's a beautiful greenery bush. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Mindy. So I'm going to cut this all apart. Yes, every weekend, swimming, or you go rent movies at the, the thing. Take the pieces of our greenery. And guys, this is for demo, so I'm not gluing this, but of course at home you want to make sure that you glue her down, girl, because you don't want it popping out on the door. That's not good. Okay? And remember, we left that bow a little sparse, so use that to your advantage as you come through, mix in these pieces um, in areas that the bow maybe has a little hole or space, and that's going to help fill it in really well for you. Y'all say a prayer for my mom. She's uh, She was sick yesterday with 100.5 fever out of the blue and had a sore throat. It's not COVID. She just probably has a cold. They went to Lake Whitney last weekend for their anniversary weekend, their one-year anniversary. So she's a little bit under the weather. And she's moving this week. So I'm like, Mom, of all the weeks for you to get sick, you pick the best one. So hopefully she recovers and gets well soon. Hey, Beth and Bonnie. It's good to see you guys this morning. Thanks for popping on. Okay, last little bit of greenery, then we're going to add some color into our wreath. I'm going to put this last piece right there in the middle of that ribbon. Okay, I love it so far. And guys, I always like to get starting and stopping places when we do projects, and this could be a stopping place. It's not a lot on there, but it's enough where you can get the idea of the picture. And it's just about greenery. And if you have a, a man or, say, a customer who wants something not so feminine that's more manly, 
a, a wreath like this with just greenery would be a great option for that person. Okay, next up, I've got these red geranium sprays. Now remember, you can use hydrangeas if you want. Just remember, they're larger in size, so sometimes it's more difficult to add those in. But I love this spray because it's got not only geraniums, but it's got the berries, it's got maidenhair fern, and everything. So I love it, okay? So now, I'm going to come down here to the bottom and mix in some of this. Look at that. I love those big pieces in there. And we're going to do that with the rest of this too. Lindy, I haven't made any graduation. Unfortunately, it's really hard to find graduation product. You know, I mean, they don't carry it here at Ellis, and I haven't seen it really around town. But I'm, that's when you could probably repurpose your Christmas because a lot of graduation stuff and decorations that you see out at party stores is, is black and gold. And so if you have black and gold Christmas left over, then you could easily incorporate that into your graduation stuff. Just grab you some ribbon, maybe on Amazon or something. Thank you, Kelly. Hey, Angelique. Is that how you say your name? Freaking love it. How cool. Angelique. Hey, Beth and Diane, Nelda, Courtney Jones is watching, and Georgia Beagle. There's my girl. How are you? Now, another piece of the geraniums. And you can alternate and flip your bow as you go. But y'all, look at all that beautiful uh, red and white in there. I love it. Okay, we're going to put one more piece of this. Get one more. I just need one because I don't want everything in a straight line. I want to have something a little bit different. Hey, Betty Linscombe. Oh, honey, these are tough. Okay, I have all my beautiful geraniums. Now, I want to add a little bit of white so this is a great filler on the website if there's not this one you could probably find this daisy bush both of them are pretty similar i just kind of like the greenery on this one so that's why i chose it so we're going to mix that together as well cambrielle what is going on with you guys and these names i love them they're so fun and unique and pretty hey doris hey katie okay little pops of white by using this filler this just is red, white, and blue, girl. And I don't have any blue flowers, but I've got that blue in the ribbon. So to me, that made a, a difference. Okay, so we're going to mix some pieces of this in. Guys, don't forget, ellishomeandgarden.com. You can find lots of products. Um, the wreaths are on there, I know. Ribbon. I mean, there's so much stuff. And I'm, I'm sure I could be wrong, but they probably even already had some fall stuff on there that was uh, they loaded from last year. So we're going to to stock up. Okay, a couple more pieces. I'm going to zoom in real quick so you guys can see a better idea of what the bottom of the wreath looks like. Hi, Gl uh, Gloria and Rita. Okay, I'm going to leave it zoomed in real quick, y'all, while we add in. We have some of the white. Now, look, we had these fun squirrel sprays, which I'm obsessed with. So. Let's use some of these too. Okay, and here's how I'm gonna do it. If you're putting these in a tree topper, leave the stem hole like this and you can leave it because they're already kind of tapered and ready to go. But what I'm gonna do, besides drop the greenery all over the floor, is I'm gonna cut these individually off. So you have basically three of them. So there's one, two, And then we can mix three of these into our wreath. I definitely want to put one here. Okay. 
one there, and probably one right over there on the side. So I just mix those in, guys. It just breaks up the wreath and adds some fun to it, but you don't have to use those. It's totally just a preference. And on my ribbon and stuff, guys, it's like this. I always want to take my ribbon tails and roll them up the opposite way, just so you have a little finished product. You can also fishtail them, dovetail them, cattail them, honey, whatever kind of tail you want. You can do that, but I like to roll them up, and I think it's fun and pretty. Oh, hello, Maggie. Hi, Sandy. How are you? Miss you more. Hey, Susan. Hey, Mary. Gloria. It's good to see everybody. Y'all, is that not the cutest thing with that gnome in there? Oh, my God. Let me back it up just a little bit so you can see the whole thing with the gnome. Look at that. I love it. Love it. Hi, Donna Smith. All right, guys. Well, ellishomeandgarden.com, honey, is the place to be, okay? All kinds of stuff. You can find the wreaths. You can find grapevine wreaths in case you want to do a grapevine versus moss. So there's lots of different options for you guys. So I just love that gnome, you know? I'm kind of I'm kind of getting drawn onto it now. I kind of like it. So um, don't forget, guys, you can follow me on Facebook at Designs by Dylan. And my monthly design group is Dylan Stevis. DylanPalmerDesigns.com is how you sign up for that. ellishomeandgarden.com is where you find products for this wreath. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Uh, I'm excited. I think um, once we get mom's move done, we have a minute to breathe, and then it's time to move Morgan again. <laughs> I know she just moved, but she's literally moving across the street. So we're going to go move her again, and then she ain't moving again. I don't care if I have to staple her door shut. She ain't moving again. And then we have fall coming up in May, so it's going to be a good month. So y'all have a great rest of your day. I love you for watching, and uh, I will see y'all next time here at Ellis on uh, next Tuesday. Bye, y'all.